Hi everyone, my name is Bo, I'm a startup founder and on this channel I'm sharing our journey to 1 million ARR and today I'm moving from Lake Atitlan in Guatemala to La Fortuna in Costa Rica. In this video I will take you along with me as I travel to Costa Rica. I will also share how my week looks like, uh, how we prioritize features in a startup. I will also share my routines how I do workouts, how I'm staying healthy, and also how I'm productive during the travel. If you wanna follow my journey, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any action. So come along with me to the next chapter in Costa Rica. Okay guys, I finally in Costa Rica, it's still not my last stop, I have like 45 hours till my next transfer to La Fortuna, um, so I did some shopping, got a new hat, finally I was able to find a hat for my big hat, so I'll do some work in a shopping mall, and yeah, see you later. to my destination in Costa Rica, La Fortuna. It was not a short commute. Um, I left yesterday at noon and now 7 p.m. So yeah, uh, even like I had just one hour and a half flight because I was far away from the airport and also now the same. I need to commute on the buses and to manage these transfers too. So yeah, it was not very short ride, but I'm here for a month. Um, my next plans, now I want to have a rest. Tomorrow I will go for a hike the, with people that I met 30 minutes ago in my place. So it would be a fun day. And yeah, see you later. Hello everyone, it's Monday here in Costa Rica and I'm ready to kick start this week. But first, let me share what I will focus on uh, during next week. First up, I'm working with our designer on finalizing email design update so we can make it more clear and align it with our brand. I'm also preparing a task for designer for review and referral prompts in our app so our customers can leave reviews and invite their friends uh, easy and also they can receive a bonus for this this week i'm also handling support it's my day-to-day -day tax on top of that i will set up availability hours uh, in zendesk so if people will reach us outside of our working hours they will receive an automated message that we will answer later because right now when people reach us, uh, our AI agent uh, send a message, hey, I will connect you with a human, and then no human for hours. So we want to improve uh, experience for, for the customers in support. In marketing, I'm also finishing a cycle of articles that we are doing together with our partners. And I want to publish guest post uh, this week with our tax advisory partner Nomadtox. I hope to finish article this week and I hope they can publish it this week or next one. We also seen some slowing down in new customers grow in August and first weeks on September. So I want to think if we need to do some extra action to 
to get more customers or should we wait for a high season and focus all of our efforts, capital and resources during high season activities? Um, that's a topic that I want to think about this week and make some decisions. But on the bright side, today uh, in the morning, we just landed a first customer for our high tier plan, which costs 200 bucks a month. So it's a great news and I'm excited that we see some interest um, for our premium features. I will also finish a monthly video for August this week and I already published it. So if you missed it, go and check it out. In terms of the personal goals this week, I'm focusing on my routines. I want to exercise every day because place where I'm stay have a gym. So it's a good opportunity for me to work on my muscles, on my body. I also want to have a consistent routine in my uh, sleep and uh, in my food. Besides that, I need to draft my plan for next six months of travel. I want to visit Colombia, Brazil, Argentina and Peru. And at some points, um, a few friends will join me. So I need to draft some plans so they can join me and I can also plan activities and enjoy it as much as possible. Let's start this beautiful and productive week. So I exercised every day for five days straight and to be honest, it was the first time after high school when I exercised like every day and uh, I feel much better, I have more energy, uh, I fall asleep earlier. My muscles are tired but I guess it was a good experiment. I will try to continue it next week but now I need to have a rest. It's a Saturday morning, I just had a nice breakfast and I'm ready to do some hike to see volcano, lake and maybe some wildlife. Let's go with me! That was a nice hike. I saw monkeys, birds, a lot of lizards, nice butterflies, also beautiful plants. And at viewpoint on volcano, I also met um, nice people, a uh, French couple with a professional camera that even made uh, some photo shoot for me. So it was nice. I want to talk a bit about how we prioritize features in our product and how we decide what we build next. The right tone of prioritization, frameworks, eyes, rice, cano, shorts, you name it. You usually need prioritization frameworks, especially a complex one, when you either have a huge backlog or you need to align with other teams, people on what you build next or what you invest resources in. Since we're a small startup, it's just me and my co-founder and also our backlog, it's not the biggest. We use a simple prioritization model, which basically have a two parameters. First parameter is impact, how these features or product will impact our growth. And growth consists of three elements, acquisition, retention, and monetization. The second element is effort. How much time do we need to invest into this feature to launch it, to develop it, we usually don't have a lot of conflict with my co-founder in terms of what to build next since we are just a team of two and also our goals aligned since we are founders of the company and we just want to grow it as fast and as sustainable as possible. But recently we have some scope and discussion about should we build it, should we build it now or less and it was connected to improving our design 
because months ago we were in a rush to publish new web application with a new design and since uh, we want to launch it earlier um, James, my co-founder, he decided at some point just to make design more simple, just to launch it faster, and it was okay. But with some iterations, I noticed that in my work with designer, it's just harder to iterate because Figma design that we have in real application is moving a bit in different directions. I also noticed that it's harder to support our design and to work with designer just because in some places we use different elements. So I suggested to work on this design depth or product depth, similar to a technical depth that engineers have. My first argument is that we are moving in direction to be a premium, maybe even luxury product at some point. And all premium and luxury products, they care about design and they care about small details. The reason is because if you want to create a feeling of premium of luxury product, you need to be perfect from different angles and you need to care about details because details create a premium experience. The second reason is that it just longer and harder for me to iterate with designer because I need to explain the difference between real design and what we have in Figma. So it just would be faster for us to iterate in the future if we would have a consistent design and it would be almost, at least almost the same as it, what we design as that we have in real life. The third reason why I suggested to do it now because we are close to the high season but not there yet. So now it's a perfect time to polish our product because during the high season we will have a lot of stuff to do, a lot of support, a lot of marketing activities, probably some bugs that we need to fix it. So now in a quiet time, um, it's a good chance to improve our product, to polish it and to be ready to shine during the high season and get the maximum from it. So in short, that's how we prioritize uh, new releases and features in our products. If you have other suggestions or if you disagree or agree, just let me know in the comments. It's not perfect, but it works for us. And uh, if you have some questions also, let me know. video we experienced slower growth both in a monthly growth rate and just in absolute numbers in added new customers and adding new revenue i spent some time thinking on this week should we take some immediate action trying to fix it or no and my answer is no the main reason is that right now is not a high season in our business and we are saving some cash to be prepared better when our conversion rates are higher, when we see more demand and also when customer acquisition is lower. Also, in my experience, rush to scale or making a quick decision to fix something in marketing usually doesn't work. That's why starting next week, I will work on our marketing plan and marketing strategy for high season and next month. So we will have a plan for channels that we want to maybe scale maybe we will try something new when we will have budgeting when we will have estimated growth and metrics so we will get everything planned budgeted before making any big decisions while we could increase budget for google search ads and trying to scale it we're already scaling it more slowly and in my experience when you just increase budget like a few times uh, immediately. Usually customer acquisition cost is skyrocketing and it's not the best decision for us right now. We are playing a long-term game 
So we will prepare and make some movement and changes when the timing is right. It was a really good and productive week and I'm happy with my productivity with everything that I've accomplished. Yesterday I went on a volcano hike, I saw some beautiful wildlife, monkeys, birds, lizards. And today in the morning I already did a small hike where I saw sloths, lizards, some new birds for me. It's been a great to get out and explore nature, to enjoy wildlife here. Today is a Sunday, so I'm planning to have some rest, fast, and also since I recorded two videos this week, I need to edit it, I need to wrap it up. Overall, it's been a productive week. I exercised every day. I had a Spanish lesson every day. I finished all of the tasks uh, that I had to myself beside uh, tasks that I'm waiting for other people to complete. And also, I even started to work on a task uh, that I was planning to start next week. So I did a lot of work. The weekly format video has been great for keeping me accountable since I have a pressure to do everything that I promised at the beginning of the video. If you enjoyed this video format and you have some feedback, let me know. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and let me know your thoughts in the comments. And of course, make sure to subscribe so you won't miss next weekly video that I will publish in a week from Costa Rica. Thanks for watching and see you next week.